Now, uh, police in Brazil are searching for the bodies of two men, a British journalist, Don Phillips, and a Brazilian expert on indigenous people. Bruno Pereira found some human remains. Police said a suspect has confessed to killing the two men, and he apparently led detectives to the place where the bodies were found. Our South America correspondent, Katie Watson, reports from Manaus. It was a hastily organised press conference, a panel of military men delivering the awful news after 10 days of searching. The first suspect voluntarily confessed at the end of last night. He made the criminal confession outlining in detail the crime he committed and indicated the area where he buried the bodies. Early on Wednesday morning, he was taken on a boat to help the search teams find the bodies. It was three kilometres from the riverbank in this thick forest that human remains were found. These photos showing the difficult terrain the search teams faced, needing the help of helicopters, sniffer dogs and divers to get to the site. These are the two men as their friends and family want to remember them. Dom Phillips, an experienced and passionate journalist, writing a book on saving the Amazon. His travelling companion, Bruno Pereira, was an indigenous expert who knew this community so well and was loved by so many here. The indigenous communities were the first to raise the alarm on the day they disappeared, and they didn't give up, accompanying the authorities and even leading them to clues. But in the press conference, they weren't mentioned. I asked the man heading the investigation why. The indigenous helped a lot in trying to find the belongings of the two men, but nothing has been mentioned of the help that they gave the forces. Actually, it was a mistake not to mention them. The work was carried out with the help of river communities and indigenous peoples. A lot of them accompanied us on the boats and in the plains, and so that was fundamental. This crime has horrified people here in Brazil and globally. It's brought into sharp focus the dangers faced by those wanting to save the forest the criminal activity that takes place in this vast, beautiful, yet threatened Amazon. Dom's wife, Ale, said this tragic outcome puts an end to the anguish of not knowing Dom and Bruno's whereabouts. Now we can bring them home and say goodbye with love. This brings the search to an end and closure for the families who push so hard in trying to find the two men. But of course, it also reveals the brutal criminality in the Amazon and the lack of ability by the state to control it. The families now say they'll fight for justice. Katie Watson, BBC News in Manaus.